Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Beat the Studio and today a quick video to share with you the free sample from our BES branded pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download that sample by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you access to this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the TRFX file, the license, the installation instruction, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work and you will get a black screen because DaVinci doesn't know what other font to replace it with. So just select all the font provided and double click on it to start the installation process or just drag them to your font folder. Once that's done, you can just select the DRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process and it will offer you to just install it right here. Once that's done, you can just go over to DaVinci. Once DaVinci resolved, you can go over to Effect titles and then scroll all the way down here to sample and here you will find your VS branded pack sample you can then take it and drag it to your timeline right now I'm in the 30 fps timeline as you can see if I play it I may drop a few frames the title though is playing smoothly but at the beginning on the first play uh, there is a few drop frame depending on the spec of your computer you may have a harder time playing it or not so a quick tip is simply to go here in playback going to render cache and selecting here smart that will just bring that bar that is turning from red to blue as the title is basically getting caching and when the title is fully caching you will be able to play at full-time playback without any issue so that's what i do all the time with any title now you can extend or reduce the length of your title as you wish and let's jump into the inspector to see a few functionality you can first off here adjust the animation length in a second so basically you can adjust the timing right now by default the animation in is one second but if we want to have a longer animation we can go and here select two seconds for example and now if we play it as you can see the animation will take longer it will take two seconds instead of one this change will affect both the in animation just as well as the out animation on this title you can choose to have the animation out on or off and you have the usual setting that you can modify so first off you get the size and position that you can either here reduce or just raise uh, you can adjust also the position you can adjust the angle etc at any moment if you wish to reset any parameter you can just double click on it to reset it to the default parameter then here the second drop down are going to be the text so you can just here change the writing of the text but you can also change here the animation of the text so right now as you can see the animation is going from left to right when the text is coming in but here you can change that animation on doing for example here inside out and right now the text will appear differently so you can just play around with those to have different sort of animation you also have all the usual text setting that you can change uh, including for example here the size the tracking of the text uh, you can also play around with the opacity you can have it fill instead of uh, having it outline right now i'm just going to raise the tracking for something like that for example and you will need to change the color of the text above it uh, but you get the id you can also change the color from gradient to solid for example uh, so on and so forth so now let's move on to the text number two it's exactly the same thing here you can just change uh, the text and all the usual parameter will be available as well you also have control over the shadow right here you can just control the shadow strength of the title let's bring some footage to see how it affect basically the title and help it pop from the background so here i'm just gonna bring a clip and as you can see if i select now the shadow strength and increase it it just helps us to create more separation between the title and the background you can then just play around with the blur of that shadow to basically create more spread we can adjust the drop distance we can adjust also the drop angle and you can change also the color of that shadow then we get the glow where you can basically play around with the intensity and power of your glow by playing around with the threshold playing around with the gain and the overall glow size which will be the spread of your glow if you want to turn down the overall strength of the glow you can just here reduce the blend and it will just turn it down slightly and then lastly we have background which is basically by default animated right now by default it's at zero 
but if you increase that opacity as you can see we have the background coming in like a solid when it's bring at one in opacity so right now i'm just gonna change the color and make it black for example and we can see how if we put it let's say at 0.5 it just dim the footage behind it and help our title to stand out even more as i mentioned by default there is a quick fade in animation with it but if you don't want to have any animation you can have it directly at the beginning of your clip without any animation by just toggling that box fade in and out and that's pretty much it hope this video was helpful and that you will enjoy the pack please let us know what kind of pack you would like to see us make in the future and see you on the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates built only for davinci resolve get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com